Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. After our practice failed for trying to do slidey stuff, we're gonna just do something else that's slidey. Ice. You know it, bitch! Oh boy! But I specifically chose to do this one because... Because I hate ice. I mean, you hate it when it's a mechanic that takes away your control. Yeah, I think it's very pretty. Like, snow and ice levels, I think, are very pretty. I just hate the mechanic of losing control. I mean, I guess you don't lose control, but, like, it fudges with your controls. Yeah, it bothers me. Yeah. But if you recall, um, I think Navi... I Navi don't... said it. Yeah, yeah. there was an Navi said there wind was a... coming from the Zora domain. So that's where we're going. Nope, not doing it. Can't even take my horse. What a shame. You should be able to like jump over that river with enough speed. Um, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, there's. No I know there's nothing you can do, but I feel like you should. I'll watch out for your currents, river. I know you can walk along the inside edge of that river without actually going into the water. It's so, like going from Kakariko to here how the river actually goes up against the wall. You can just edge yourself and stand on that edge and not go into the water. So, I wonder if Epona could if you were like super careful. Okay, so we can and also show this. one grew back. Yeah, we can also show this off. Man, this thing is going places. Oh, wait. Get her, get off. <laughs> Well, that made that whole trip a lot quicker. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to actually stop before you got to Zora's Don't Is this snow? It is. Oh, wait. Hey, Gold Skull Talk. Can I hit it from here? I do not think I can get it nope. from here. Oh, you can. Ah. In your face there. Get Dang up. it. Eh. Get closer to the edge. Eh, okay. Actually, I can get up here. Hey. A couple extra feet should do it. Yeah. Yeah. Then I actually hook shot and jump up somewhere. I didn't mean to! <laughs> so this... Yeah, this is snow. Why is there snow in this domain? Well, an arctic wind was coming from here. Something's up. And it's time for us to investigate. It's what we do, we're the, hero, we're the hero of time. It's what we do. We find problems and we solve them. With time. With time. You're dying to death. With time. You can do it with time. Oh. Well. Puts a damper in everything. That'll do it. What does this sign say? Welcome to Zoras. Ah! Land of the Frozen Zoras. <laughs> Popsicles. Oh, well. <laughs> this is... I'm not sure where the Zoras are. Um, you'd think... Ooh. Ooh. You'd think they were, like, frozen underneath the ice or something. I don't know if ice ah! works. I don't know if ice works that way. Ah! You can see through the ice a little, though, and I don't see any Zoras down there. Maybe they all just abandoned ship. Maybe. I assume they're frozen under there. Yeah. That's my only thought. I was like, you remember the rumor that you could fr unfreeze the domain mm. before everything? You can. I know. I just like that rumor. It's like, oh, I kind of really wanted that to be true. Yeah. Sadly, you can't. Which is weird, because it's like the only time something remains as is. Yeah. After you solve the dungeon's problem. Oh, well, that's a problem. Yeah. More red ice. That's cool. What is this red ice? Is there a thing on here that tells me what it's about? Nope, just that it's the Zora's King, Zora King's throne room. Can I at least dive? I want to try to oh, dive. Oh no, don't. Oh no. Don't I want to dive! I want to capture my childhood again! It didn't work. So yeah, Zora's domain is frozen solid. We need to figure out what's going on here. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, maybe Jabba Jabba can tell us. 
That's all we got. The Zora King is still scooted off to one side because apparently he didn't move any time in the past. In, in the past seven years. Yeah. Though I don't know when he got frozen, but it was probably a pretty quick freeze. A flash freeze. Yeah. There's still water out here. And I don't imagine it was long after you went into the and got the mask sword either. Well, at least it's not frozen up here. Oh. Um, Jabu Jabu's not here though. And there's ice. So he skedaddled off, and there's more ice. Now these are kind of neat, this big one especially, because it actually dips to either ah. side. And there's Octoroks. <laughs> it actually fell down. If you're not going to lock on to him. Uh, I'm too far away to lock on. Eh, you just ignore him. We're gonna oh, no, there you go. Uh, take care of him. Uh, really, so as long as you keep moving, you don't have to worry much about the Octoroks. Is that a piece of heart? It is. I want that piece of heart. Huh. Alright, piece of Rolling heart. does not gain you speed on ice. But pulling out your sword stops your momentum. Hmm, I did not know that. It's weird, but it's true. Uh, did he have a weird? Did he have that like skid animation in the '64 version? I believe he did. You yeah, throw out your rock again. How does that fucking feel? How does that feel? So you can grab the piece of heart, and then the rest of these ice platforms lead lean towards. Uh, yeah. All you do is big you old hole in the wall. You swing your sword, you lose your momentum. Hmm. I don't know why that happens, but. The ice physics in this game I never felt were especially offensive. Like, yeah, there was a little bit of sliding. Well, they offend me. Oh. As a person who can cast ice. Like, there is a little bit of sliding, but for the most part, I, f I guess I feel like the controls are already not precise enough that the loss of a little more precision, if you know you're going in for it, isn't as big a deal. This, by the way, be the ice cavern. The mini dungeon. Yeah, not actually a full dungeon, but though we're going to be spending an amount of time in here. No boss at the end. However, there are these guys. Arrows do not work on them. Bombs probably will. Uh huh. Best way to take them out is just to stab them. They take three good sword strikes to take out, and you want to wait for them to breathe their ice before they... Oh, that guy's coming from me. You want to wait for them to breathe their ice before you actually close in on them. Otherwise, you will be frozen solid. Like that. But I've killed them all. Also, what is she shining about here? Um, I don't know, you could probably, like, play the Song of Storms or something get a fairy to show up. Maybe. What's with all this red ice? I don't know. This red ice is weird, though. It's very unnatural. I'm gonna see if the guide has anything to say about what's in that room. Ah! What the hell is this? It's so intricate. Oh, it designed nicely. Uh, the guide just points out that you could use Din's fire in the middle of the room and kill all of them at once. Well, screw that. I want the more tougher option. That wastes my time and everyone else's time. The guide mentions nothing about what was in the middle of that room. But it was probably either the Song of Storms or the Sun Song. It was probably just the fire thing. I think someone also mentioned that thing the... thing is deadly looking. Yeah. How do I get up to that one? I think it's been mentioned that the Sun Song... Oh, you go up there where the bars are and jump off. How do I get up to where the bars are? You need to climb up the right. How do I climb up here? Well, you have to use the springy mo motion of the extraction of the leg. How do I jump off of here? Oh. See, see previous answer. <laughs> Aha! Ah, that works! How does that shit feel? Aha! I can duck. Oh! <laughs> Bad ending. Well, we know how that timeline turned out. Oh, also of note, from this point on, it's going to be very easy to tell whether me or Ogre is playing. Because Ogre likes wearing the green tunic. I like green. And I like not. You're a bitch. So for the most part, if you ever see someone not wearing 
Ow. If you see somebody wearing the green tunic, it's, he's probably playing. If you're not wearing the green tunic, it's probably me. Especially oh, wow. if it's not necessary. Like, obviously, he's well, gonna yeah, put on the blue or red tunic if you need him. Spoilers, there's a blue tunic. We've already seen it. But they didn't know it was necessary for game mechanics. It's necessary to look fabulous. Do you not want to look fabulous? It's I do. great to look fabulous. It's a freeze art over there. Well, not that one. There's one on the ground. He popped up as I landed. Yeah, the freeze arts are interesting fellows. Some of them move towards you, some of them don't. That was my bad. You know, like a room ago, I said you should wait. I don't wait for no fool. Except myself. How does that shit feel? And that is a very interesting... fire. The blue fire. It doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. But how could you carry it? My sword! Light your sword on fire. Let's go. Nope. We need to use... Bottles, because bottles hold everything. So I'm gonna get rid of these bugs. I'd also suggest getting rid of the Lon Lon milk. It's either in the fire or the ice, guys. There is no happy solution for you. This is a cool thing. Just because the carrying around more fire is going to speed things along. Also, this milk is like seven years old, and I don't care how. It's... Oh! <laughs> Down ten hearts. It's just had some really good preservatives in it. <laughs> it's more like cottage cheese than <laughs> milk now. But the more of these blue flames that you can carry around, the better, because it'll just mean you don't have to go... I'm keeping the fairy. It just means you don't have to go and get more nearly as often. Whoop. He's like right down there just mocking me. I gotta wait for you to fall. I'm waiting for you to fall, boy. Why don't you fall? I feel like you may just want to leave a bottle on the bar. How about you leave a bottle in the bard? Just so you don't have to go to the menu, like, every two seconds. I like going to the menu every two seconds. It's more fun when you can change your iron boots over. Yeah, but I have to edit every single time you go to the menu. Hey, a map. Oh, man. Does that mean we get a compass, too? Yes. Does that mean we get a special treasure? Maybe. Oh. Uh -huh. Does it mean we get to fight a boss? Do we get big keys? No. Do we get little keys? Yes. N I mean, no. <laughs> Make up your mind, man. Yes, no. Maybe? Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Could you repeat the question? And then Walter White kills you. <laughs> That's like a twofer for everything. <laughs> Screw you, room. Yeah, this is a reasonably straightforward dungeon, all things considered. Um, there I would... Two air... Hey, there's a gold sculpture. Yeah, there are two exits in here. I would head to the east one first. Which one's east? Um... Haha. <laughs> um, I don't think that one is east. I think the other one is east. Okay. First of all... If you had the compass, I could tell! Well... That's the entrance to the room here, so this is how the room would look normally. Yeah, so, so it's the that, it's yeah, that one. No, I, I can do directions. I can do them five times. <laughs> Unless you start doing like north, northwest by north. It's like northwestern west or something like that, or some stupid shit. Northwesterly. Yeah, or like northwest west. North. It's always like north by northeast or something, yeah, but. All north by northeast. That's it. It's like north by northwest or something. Oh, like. All that is is it's just take a direction between north and northeast. So it's not it's not crazy complicated. I know it's not, but it sounds so stupid. <laughs> and I can only take so much stupid. Hey, you look nice. Hey, piece of a heart. How can I tell? Because I murdered a man for it. And then froze him. All this time, Link has been the one behind the red fire. Do you hear a gold scotchla? I do. First of all, 
Now these bats, if memory serves, can actually light themselves on I fire, yeah, but they, they can, can also light themselves on ice. I don't know. I think. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. Maybe they fly through blue fire. There it is. Did that? Did that just regrow over here? I think they can. Yeah, icicles will regrow. Okay. So you can. They're the ones that fall down on you, and yes, they can fall down on you multiple times. Kind of dickish. Yeah. Now, admittedly, I don't actually know if the... I don't... Because somebody's going to correct me and be like, no, they can't. I don't actually know 100% certain that the bats can light themselves on ice. I feel like they can, but I don't actually know. I know they can light themselves on fire. Hey, now compass. I got the compass. You know, we're like at the end of the dungeon. Well, we got one more treasure chest to go. Make sure I have plenty of that. But I mean I can go through the other room now. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. I, everything's trying to get me. Yeah, tired of your crap. Starting to think I'm well loved in this area. See like it slows down weird. The uh, blade in the middle actually like it goes between a faster and slower speed. 